Good morning, you guys are just in time. When I went home to visit my parents, my mom had this collagen that was so freaking delicious. It basically got me like re-addicted to coffee because it's like especially good in coffee. I don't know what it is, it's just like a regular vanilla collagen but it's so good. And I was like, this stuff is a game changer. I need it in my life. So the other day I caved and finally decided to order it, which I know is just gonna fuel my coffee addiction, but worth it. And today I woke up to a little package that has my collagen. I'll spare you the suspense. This is the collagen. It's the Ancient Nutrition Multi-Collagen Protein in vanilla flavor. It's literally just the vanilla flavor that makes it taste good. What I find interesting slash good about this collagen is it has a combination of like different sources of collagen. So it has collagen from hide, eggshell membrane, and fish, and then it also has bone broth protein concentrate in it. And then the only other ingredients are the natural vanilla flavor and some stevia to sweeten it. And I don't know what it is about it, but it makes things taste really good. So I am like so stoked to have this in my life. <laughs> Pretty sure I need to go make a giant iced coffee to celebrate, yes. Yes. And of course I did order this through Thrive Market because collagen is like hecka expensive. Regular retail price for this is 50 bucks. I got it 20% off on Thrive Market for 40 bucks. So I saved 10 bucks on this thing thanks to Thrive Market. Thrive Market is where I get all of my more expensive and luxury <laughs> healthy food items and supplements because everything on their website is so heavily discounted. They are an online marketplace and they not only have like expensive bougie supplements but also like regular foods. Like I also got their version of Miracle Noodles in like rice form. Probably gonna be having some of these for dinner tonight. These were like two bucks. So it's not, it's not just expensive things, but everything that they do have on their website is up to 25 to 50% off regular retail prices. They have thousands of the highest quality, healthy and sustainable food, beauty and home products. And you can sort through everything with like over 70 different filters. So you can search by like keto or AIP or plant-based or any of the values you so choose. And speaking of the filters, they actually, it's really cool. They just added a BIPOC filter. So if you want to support BIPOC owned brands via Thrive Market, it's really easy. I also love how committed Thrive is to sustainability. So if you want to support a brand that is all about sustainability, Thrive Market is a great choice because they work with brands that support fair trade, ban GM, and prioritize sustainability. Everything that they use to package it is completely recyclable. They use carbon neutral shipping. Like, it's a great company. If you wanna give Thrive Market a try, see if you can save some Monet on all of your go-to healthy food products. They have two membership options. The first one is a month-to-month -month option. The second one is the one that I have, which is the year-long option. That saves you a lot of money on the membership and it also costs $5 a month. I already saved $10 just on this, not including every everything else that's in my box. So it more than pays for itself. And you can save even more money if you go to thrivemarket.com forward slash fit and nerdy. You can get yourself up to a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a membership and signing up is completely risk free. You can cancel within 30 days and get your money back. So like, why not? Like actually, why, why not? Anyway, check them out, save yourself some money. Link in description. I'm gonna go make some coffee. So I don't know if this is how you're supposed to make iced coffee, but what I've been doing is I've just been making the hot coffee and then I stick it in the fridge for a little bit and let it cool down and then I add ice. Mm. I think in the meantime, while I wait for that to cool down, I'm gonna go for a short little morning walk. Ernie, what you doing up there, buddy? How'd you get there? How are you gonna get down? Going on regular walks to just increase my movement throughout the day is a habit that I built last time I did Project Comeback, like a year and a half ago. And honestly, of all of the different benefits that I got from doing the program, I think that is the one that I still value the most to this day. There's just something about getting outside, getting movement in, staying active and not being super sedentary that's literally life altering. And it's just so much a part of my lifestyle now. I absolutely love it. And on days that I can't 
be active and get my steps in, I feel it. I feel it hardcore. This is everything I wanted. Now that I am well caffeinated, it is time for a workout. You'll notice I am still at home. I am not at the gym. Started Project Comeback to celebrate gyms reopening and well, COVID cases are now through the roof and all the gyms are closing back down. Yay. Oh my God, the bee trying to eat me. The gym is my happy place and it is my therapy and, and it was fine to give it up when I was trying to heal my skin but as soon as I tried to get back to the gym it got taken away and then I was about to get back to it again and it got taken away again and it's it's a little rough up here let's just say that I don't think I'm lifted in about three weeks because I stopped when I did my week of hit experiment and honestly my motivation is like all-time low right now the only thing getting me out here to do this workout is the fact that I started the accountability group for Project Comeback so now I'm being held accountable. So thank you to everyone that's in that group. But I don't know, I was doing fine with quarantine because that was kind of my life before but the last like week has just started to get a little bit much. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments. Let me know if you're doing okay or if you're struggling. Either way, we're all in this together. If gyms aren't reopening anytime soon, I need to figure out how to work out at home and feel good about it and be consistent with it because sitting around not exercising is just not really good for your health. And I'm hoping that even though I can't get into the gym right now, just following like a specific program will kind of help me stay a little bit more on track. But anyway, I'm gonna take it super easy today because again, I haven't lifted in like three weeks, so I'm probably just gonna go super light on everything. Also gonna have to modify the whole workout from Project Comeback. It can be done with just dumbbells, but I don't have dumbbells, I just have a barbell. So we're gonna figure out how to make this work. This bar already feels a lot heavier than it did last time I picked it up. <laughs> tomorrow like I did not make it through that last set of lunges I'm so out of shape but the workout did feel really good now I think it's breakfast time the best time of the day veggies and avocado has been kind of my go-to for like the last two weeks and I've just been loving it. I managed to cram quite a bit of veggies into these eggs and honestly I'm kind of proud of myself for that. Not only is this one of my favorite breakfasts in general, it's also a really really good post-workout meal because it's chock full of protein and cholesterol, both of which help with muscle repair and building. Also really good fats just to sustain energy throughout the day and it's delicious. All right, so I finished filming a video. Now I'm doing some client work, but I'm a wee bit hungry. I'm like not super hungry today. I eat quite a bit extra yesterday, so my hunger today is just a little bit lower. But I wanted a snack, so first I made myself a giant drink because I am not hydrated enough today. 
This is the ginger lemon sparkly tea that I showed you guys how I make in my last video. It's just steeped ginger to make ginger tea, cool it down, add in some bubbly water and some lemon juice, throw in some ice and it's delicious. This is not my snack, it's just hydration, obviously. It, you can't snack on water. My snack is a kiwi. I don't remember the last time I had a kiwi, but before I went to the grocery store last time, I had watched a Jeff Nippard video and he made a big deal about there being kiwis in the grocery store. And then I was in the grocery store and I saw kiwis and I was like, I want a kiwi. I'm good. Oh my goodness, I should about five of these. I'm gonna get more next time I go to the store. Kiwis are supposed to be like really good for you too. Got a lot of good stuff in them. I literally can't stop eating this. So other than this kiwi that I just demolished, I have been eating pretty low carb these last two weeks. If you watch my What I Eat In A Day video from last week, you'll know that the diet that I follow is basically like listening to my body and eating what feels best for my body. And so me eating super low carb has not really been intentional. It's kind of been me just responding to what my body has been driving me to do. And I think this is coming out of the fact that when I went to my parents, house. I was there for like a week and a half and I had this whole list of all the things I wanted to do and by things I wanted to do I mean food that I wanted to eat and restaurants that I wanted to go to so I like I feasted while I was at home and I loved it like I do not feel guilty do not regret a single bite it was amazing 10 out of 10 would do again but while I don't regret it I think my body physically kind of regrets it and kind of as soon as I was done checking everything off my list my body just started craving vegetables and protein. Like honestly, all I've wanted to eat since I've gotten back home has been like meat and vegetables and chocolate. Like I am not actively trying to eat low carb right now at all in any way, shape or form. I am instead intentionally eating high veggie, high meat because that is what my body is craving. Also high fat, but like I always love fat, like that hasn't changed. But because I'm listening to my body's cravings for more vegetables, more meats, more fats, I'm just naturally not eating more carb dense foods. I'm not intentionally restricting carbs. In fact, I actually had like a giant inch thick chocolate cookie yesterday and it was amazing. And it's amazing how when you actively try to consume more of the things that you know make your body feel really good, you don't even crave or want all of those other foods that don't make you feel as good. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that little update on kind of where my diet's at right now and why I'm eating the way that I am. Cause I don't want anyone thinking like, oh, Marissa suddenly hates carbs and is scared of carbs. It's not the case at all. I'm just loving my veggies right now. Just finishing off my evening walk. My goal this week for step count is 10,000 steps and met like 9,500. So perfect timing. And now it is dinner time. I mean, it's like past dinner time because it's like eight o'clock and I like to try to be done eating by eight o'clock, but like, whatever. And I'm actually gonna grab some of the other things from my Thrive order because I'm super excited about them and I want to use them for dinner tonight. First is the Wonder Rice. This was, I think, like 40-ish percent off. I think I got these bags for like 150, two bucks. And then I want to cook it in a little bit of bone broth. This was, I think, 30% off. It's only 10 bucks. Good quality bone broth is like kind of pricey and I got it for seven, so that's super nice. Both of those will be in my dinner. Look at this massive, massive pile of food. It's like almost as big as my head. That is the way I like it. I forgot a fork. That's a problem. Be right back. Need a eating utensil in order to eat. Again, with this dish, I was just focusing on vegetables and protein because that is what my body wants. 
And so that is what I'm giving it. And then I've just been making tiny little easy side salads lately just to get in some extra greens. The other day when I went to Whole Foods, I got the giant box of mixed greens, not realizing how big it was and the fact that I share a refrigerator with three other people. So I've just been trying to eat it as fast as possible so that I'm not taking up that much space in the refrigerator. So small salads has been my go-to way of doing that. But I've actually really been liking it. And of course, I can't not have dessert. So I'm rounding out the night with a little dark chocolate with quinoa crunch from Theo. While I was cleaning my dishes, I did already have two squares of it. So I'm probably gonna the rest of the half of the bar. Maybe the rest of the bar? No. I was gonna have a cup of tea, but honestly, it is way too hot. Like, I'm dying. I've just showered and just gotta brush my teeth, and then I am off to bed because it has been a long day. Please do let me know down in the comments how you're doing with this whole quarantine situation, whether or not you're absolutely thriving and loving it, or if you're struggling. Either way, we're all in this together. In the meantime, do make sure you check out Thrive Market. My link to save you some extra Monet is in the description box below. You can get yourself a little membership, save yourself some money on all of the coolest, most fun foods on the planet. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please feel free to share it. If you want to see more videos from me, you can check them out over here. If you want to see future videos from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you get notified when I post a video, and I will see you very soon. Bye.